Is it too early to start rubbing salt in the wound? Nah, I don't think so. Let's talk about Alex Petrangelo. One of, if not the absolute best, St. Louis Blues defender of all time. Obviously, that's up for debate, but you can make the argument. A guy who's been a very key mainstay of the St. Louis Blues decor, and in fact, he also became the highest leading St. Louis Blues playoff producer for D-Men in terms of St. Louis Blues points, which is also very notable and kind of a testament to how good he actually has been. But... Alex Petrangelo is on an expiring deal, and this is what we're talking about here today. Have we seen the last game of Alexander Petrangelo in a St. Louis Blues jersey? Now, it's a big question here, because throughout the entire season, Alex Petrangelo, like Braden Holtby, whom we also made a video about in this kind of format, was noted as one of the potential top UFA free agents heading into the 2020-2021 season. Depending on whether or not the Blues could get a contract extension, Petrangelo was set towards hitting the market and becoming the prime subject of what would be a bidding war. But with the St. Louis Blues' most recent defeat at the hands of the Vancouver Canucks, man, I still can't believe I'm saying that, man, Petrangelo's situation has become a lot more muddy. Here's a quote here from Greg Wyshynski right after the Blues got eliminated two days ago. I'm not going to answer that. We'll find out soon, Petrangelo said when somebody asked about his future with the St. Louis Blues. Now, it's no secret that the St. Louis Blues would want to keep Alex Petrangelo. He's literally their captain. He's been there for 10 years, pretty much. He's a very good player on the back end. Big, strong, can get 50 to 40 points every single year. And this guy is a very important part of your team. Furthermore, it was spoken by Elliot Friedman on yesterday's Hockey Night in Canada panel that he believes that Alex Petrangelo would indeed want to stay with St. Louis. So what gives? Well, the problem here is that Alex Petrangelo has a $6.5 million contract that expires this offseason. And as a guy who probably could have been named for a few Norris votes here once in a while, there certainly is room for Petrangelo to get a boatload of money on his next deal. Also, he's 30. So, it's not like a short-term contract is going to really fill that void here. There's most likely going to be negotiations and a value for a long-term deal when Petrangelo signs his next contract. The problem is, the St. Louis Blues have a current projected cap space of $20,000. Not $20 million, just $20,000 straight up. And for next season, they have a projected $2 million in cap space. This is why there's been rumors and trade speculation as to whether or not Jake Allen could go, or Jaden Schwartz could go, Alex Steen could go, any of these other guys in the Blues that could free up the necessary money needed to re-sign a Petrangelo. But like Petrangelo said himself in the quote, we don't know, we'll find out soon. So let's talk about the possibilities as to what could happen if Petrangelo goes to free agency. We spoke about this also with Braden Holtby, but with the introduction of a flat cap, there certainly is a lot more obstacles when it comes to signing big name free agents to big contracts. In a world where it was already more likely that the teams with money would go after Petrangelo, it seems even more likely that teams without the money would not be able to free up the funds to do that because making trades with big contracts just seems like a much more difficult process now that we have a flat cap introduced into the system. So let's go over a few teams here that I think could see potential offers sent out to Petrangelo and teams that in my opinion would make the most sense if they went after this big hulking D-man. And lo and behold, there are quite a few teams that do have a considerable amount of cap space with the opportunity to maybe take a chance at St. Louis's captain. Obviously, you have the teams at the very end of the cap space room line, like Ottawa, Detroit, these guys got so much cap space to burn through. But there is a concern as to whether or not these teams would actually be a fit for an Alex Petrangelo. I don't know about you, but if I'm 30 years old, coming off of a Stanley Cup, and looking for more, I don't know if I would want to go to what was the worst team we have seen in the salary cap era, or the Ottawa Senators too. 
The argument does exist, I will say, because if Ottawa comes out of the 2020 NHL entry draft with Quinton Byfield and Lucas Raymond, two straight-up new NHL-ready forwards who can make an impact on the team with a Brady Kachuk on their line, then maybe there's a little bit more incentive for a free agent to go to Ottawa. But that is all circumstantial, so I'll leave it at that. Furthermore, we have a few other NHL teams who don't have as much space like the Senators or the Red Wings do, but who don't really need to make all too many signings. A team like the Boston Bruins, for example, they have a projected $15 million in cap space for next season, and the only big re-signings that they need to do include Joachim Nordstrom, Jake DeBrusque, Tory Krug, Zdeno Chara, and Matt Gritzlick. We don't even know if Tory Krug is going to come back because that whole situation is up in the air. Furthermore, with the advancements of Tuka Rask and the potential of him maybe not being on the team next year, it certainly opens the door to more interesting decisions to be made with the Boston Bruins. Ironically enough, this is a team that already has history with getting St. Louis Blues captains who become free agents in their 30s. They literally did that with David Backus. So with a Tory Krug maybe on his way out, is an Alex Petrangelo a player the Bruins try to get back? Who knows? The Colorado Avalanche are another team who have a projected $22 million in cap space for next season, and their re-signings include Burakovsky, Nemestikov, Tyson Jost, Valery Nichushkin, Vladislav Kamenev, Nikita Zadorov, Kevin Connaughton, so it's a list that doesn't include a superstar player on an RFA deal that's gonna need a big contract. All the big contracts have already been handed out to guys like McKinnon, Landeskog, and Rontanen. If they're able to re-sign a lot of these guys for cheap, that could open the door to add a brand new Alexander Petrangelo into your lineup. Now, logistically speaking, playstyle speaking, on-ice product speaking, I'm not saying that there's a fit there necessarily, just in terms of the overall structure of the cap, this actually does make sense in my opinion. Imagine that though, the Colorado Avalanche who are already stacked, adding one of the best free agents on the market because they have the money to do that, People were already speculating whether or not Taylor Hall would go to Colorado, but I think Alex Petrangelo is a very interesting one too. You already have Kale McCarr, you got Sam Girard, you got some really good defensemen over there, and adding a Petrangelo could just make your team incredible. So much so that it supersedes the level of greatness that you've already achieved this season without Petrangelo. Furthermore, there are a few other teams that do have cap space, but who aren't already in that top tier of teams in the league. Teams like the Minnesota Wild, they've got cap space to burn. They don't have too many super important free agent signings to make, other than Gelchenyuk and Miko Koivu, but those situations really have a few question marks of their own. In Edmonton, you have Andreas Athanasiu, who probably won't be back, Riley Shahan, Tyler Ennis, and Patrick Russell, who need contracts, Mike Green, who retired, and you also have about... 11 million dollars in cap space for next year. With all the talk of the Oilers needing defense, maybe Petrangelo's a guy they go to. Who knows? To me though, there certainly are options, and there certainly are different ideas that could present themselves. I know personally for the Red Wings and the fan base that they have over there, there isn't really too much value in bringing in a long-term contract for a guy who's already 30 years old, who can be very good in the short term, but who will most likely prevent the let's just say fluid acquisitions of other younger talent as the team grows older because that is a young team that does have a lot of cap space. Who knows if they're able to burn it on other contracts that are bigger early on, but if Petrangelo does go over and he spends some time on the right side in Detroit, it would be a very nice combo in my opinion, to be honest. But at the same time, you know, it doesn't really fit logistically speaking, it's just the cap space is the most obvious one to point out. With more competitive situations elsewhere, though, you could make the argument that it could be something of value, like, let's just say, the Ottawa Senators, which we already talked about. But I want to hear from you, though. What do you think is going to happen to Alex Petrangelo? And furthermore, what do you want to happen? Because what you think is going to happen and what you want to happen, those usually are two different things. If you think Alex Petrangelo is just going to stay in St. Louis, they trade some guys, they open up the cap space, and they keep him back, let me know in the comment section below. Or do you think he's going to go to free agency and he signs with another team? Let me know if you think that in the comments below. Either or though, let me know which team you think Petrangelo is going to stay on, because that ultimately is the big argument here as to what's going to happen. Petrangelo is the best defender on the UFA market today, and he does not have a contract for next season. So it provides some interesting discussion for different teams. 
I certainly wouldn't really have a preference, to be honest. I'm just interested in seeing how this story unfolds. But again, I want to hear from all of you. So tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video on Alex Petrangelo, Social Dark Trolls 99, and bye.